Hey guys, welcome to um, day, I'm not sure what day it's going to be by the time you watch this video, but I'm Louise and today's class is a yoga detox flow. So before we go anywhere, I would love for you to pause this video and go get yourself a glass of water or a bottle of water if you don't already have one and then bring it back to your mat. <laughs> and then we're going to get started right away. So yoga detox flow is a concept taken from Shauna Korn. I learned it in my teacher training and my teacher learned it from her. So um, what it is, is it's a specific um, flow and a construct to it in a specific style. So we're going to start with core, we'll move on to decompressing, compressing, and twisting. And we'll, I'll explain more of that in a, in a little bit for you, but this class is going to be quicker. It's going to be a little bit faster paced. Uh, you know, we want to get things moving. We want to help get things out of the system. So we are going to be moving on our mats. We're going to try and get things to move. We're going to really like get that breath and that connection going. So that being said, if you need to skip anything, skip it. If something doesn't feel good, you know, skip it. But I invite you to really think about why you're skipping things today. And if you really need to skip it or you're just kind of like, oh, I should give me the option to skip it. So just keep that in mind for your practice today. So we're going to start with some breath work, some pranayama. Um, if you don't know, exhaling is detoxing. When you, you exhale, you're getting things out of your system. The CO2 goes out so the O2 can come in and nourish your body. So we're really going to focus on our inhales and our exhales today. So before we slow the breath down, we're going to take a little bit of a quicker breath to start to ignite a fire in our belly and start to get things moving. So we're going to start with Kapalabhati breath. Kapalabhati breath is the snapping of the belly on the exhale. The inhale comes really naturally and then this breath is all about the exhale and using your core muscles to get the belly button firing back and to get the breath coming out. So the first one we're going to do a little bit slower and then the second one will pick up the pace. You don't have to keep pace with me, but what I do suggest is to find a steady pace. So make sure that everything's Kind of going at the same time so you're exhaling 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 or maybe exhaling exhaling <laughs> but it's going to be um a steady pace so hands down on the thighs you can sit on your heels like i am or you can you can sit with your legs crossed if it doesn't feel good to sit on your heels if it doesn't feel good to close your eyes then just have a gaze on the ground in front of you or close your eyes first take a breath in and then take your breath out Get another breath in. Another breath in. So this first Kapalabhati round is going to be a little bit slower. So punchy exhales. So inhale. And we'll exhale for our first round. to your natural breath for a couple rounds. And if you didn't get it the first round, that's okay. You can get it this round and try again. There will be a more in-depth Kapalabhati training tomorrow morning, I believe, in the schedule off the top of my head. So don't worry if you're kind of confused. Just focus on the exhale and the, the engaging of the muscle, bringing the core in, in, in. So, second round, we'll pick up the pace a little bit. If it feels good, if it doesn't feel good to pick up the pace, then just stay with the pace that feels good for you. So either closing the eyes or soft gaze. Take a breath in first. Take a breath out. And we'll inhale for our second round of the Palabhati.
Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in. Hold the breath. And a full exhale out. Beautiful. We're going to move into Ujjayi breath. So this breath is going to be key for the detox flow today. So if you don't know what Ujjayi breath is, it's constriction of the throat as you inhale and as you exhale. So say you're trying to fog up a mirror, your glasses, if you want to clean them, just a So try that. Beautiful. Now try that again, but with your mouth closed and out of your nose. Hopefully you can feel that. And that's also going to go with the inhale. So fully exhale out wherever you are through breath. And then the constriction of the throat, which I breath in. Which I breath out. Good. This Ujjayi breath in, you're going to specifically breathe into the belly. Inhale. And exhale. Ujjayi breath into the belly. And Ujjayi breath out. Beautiful. So I'm going to be very mindful to try and say Ujjayi breath as much as I can. But when I tell you to inhale today and when I tell you to exhale today, I specifically mean the Ujjayi breath, so the constriction of the throat. And you'll see why. You get more control when you slow the breath down. You can breathe specifically into different parts of your body when you slow the breath down. And you have way more control with what's going on when you're using your Ujjayi breath. So let's come into child's pose. So big toes touch, knees out wide. We're going to bring the hands forward and the forehead down on the ground. Good. If you need to place something underneath your sit bones, something underneath your forehead. Before we go anywhere, I'm going to let you know that you will need blocks or whatever you're using as blocks at home today. So if you don't have them, again, pause the video, run and grab them and bring them back. So with your forehead down on the ground, your fingertips reaching forward, we're going to practice the belly ujjayi breath here. So inhale, big round of breath into your belly so that your belly pushes up against your thighs. You can feel your body massaging itself on your thighs. And then a full exhale out. Good. Another ujjayi breath into your belly. And an ujjayi breath out. And so staying in child's pose and continuing with this breath at your own pace, I'm just going to share some information with you about what we're about to do. So you're still in child's pose. You're still breathing in and out deep breaths in and out of your belly so that your belly is massaging up against your thighs. So today, today's practice, the way as I um, already mentioned, is broken up into four parts. And we're specifically doing it in these four parts. So we start off with core. And the reason we start with core is we want to build a belly in our fire, or sorry, build a fire in our belly, right? Where all our organs are, right? Where all this stuff that we're trying to kind of enhance and help get things moving. If you don't know, there's three types of muscles in your body. You have your skeletal muscles, so the muscles that allow you to move your body. You have your cardiac muscles, which you don't actually have any control of. Your heart muscles just do what they're supposed to do to pump blood through your body your whole life, which is pretty cool. And then your visceral muscles, where your organs are, that what helps pump the food and gets things churning and moving around so that food's digested and you know assimilated in your whole body. Those visceral muscles you also don't have conscious control over, but by doing something like a detox flow, we can help enhance what's going on. So that's why we start with core. We get the fire burning in our bellies. And then from there, we move to decompressing poses, so long poses. We want to get length throughout our whole body. Still staying in your child's pose, still breathing and massaging your belly on your thighs. So once we've done our core and we've built a fire in our belly, we move to decompressing so we get long, we create length, and then our compressing poses. So we're going to bring everything in towards the midline again. And then from there, we're going to twist. And when we twist, we're going to specifically twist all one sequence to the right and then all one sequence to the left so that we're literally wringing out our insides. 
So it's going to be a lot of these belly breaths today. And hopefully now with a little bit of an idea where you're going, you will be able to understand why that's going to be important. So let's take our last breath here. Big belly, ujjayi breath in. Big belly, ujjayi breath out. Good, inhale, come up onto all fours. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees, stack them underneath your hips, tuck your toes. Neutral spine, so the tailbone reaches back, the crown of the head reaches forward, the belly button moves in slightly towards the spine. We're gonna do three rounds of cat and cow, but we're gonna make them slow so that we can feel every single movement in our body. So inhale, tilt your pelvic floor up towards the sky, drop your belly button down, and then guide the shoulder blades back together, look forward. Exhale, start with your pelvic floor tilted towards the ground, bring the belly button in towards your spine and tuck your chin in towards your chest. Inhale, pelvic floor tilts up, belly button drops, shoulder blades come back and together, gaze forward. Exhale, tilt the pelvic floor forward, Round through the whole spine, tuck the chin into the chest. One more inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale. Come back to your neutral spine. Place your palms a little bit further forward, tuck the toes and guide the knees back into a downward facing dog. Beautiful, if you need to, you can pedal your feet back and forth. If you find that your chest is lifted up and you're really struggling to get your chest towards your shins, try bending the knees and then guiding the chest. You can even try walking the feet in. I'm doing like this really amazing supported triangle where the, the weight's evenly in the hands and the feet, both hands and both feet. Take a breath in here. Take a breath out. All right, we're gonna start building fire right away. So inhale, come onto the balls of your feet, round forward to a high plank. If you need to, you always have the option to drop your knees down. Exhale, lower down, low plank. Inhale, back up to high plank. Exhale, lift your pelvic floor up, and then back into a downward facing dog. And take a breath in. Take a breath out. We're gonna build on that. Inhale, come to high plank. Knees always have the option to go down. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale it back up. Exhale, lower halfway again. Inhale back up. Exhale, pelvic floor up and back into a downward facing dog. You're gonna take a breath in. Take a breath out. Okay, we're gonna go to three this time. Inhale to high plank. Maybe the knees come down. Don't be afraid to lower the knees down. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale it up. One more, exhale the lower, inhale it up. Exhale, lift the pelvic floor up and back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Last one, we're going to four, inhale to high plank. Exhale, lower halfway, inhale it up. Exhale, lower, inhale it up. Don't be afraid to lower the knees down. Exhale, lower, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale, up and back. Downward facing dog. Good. Take a big breath in. Big long breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, you're going to float forward onto your sit bones. Good. Bring your feet out in front of you. Reach your hands forward. You're going to slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Interlace your hands. Place that basket right where your skull and your spine meet. Reach the legs up high. You can point your toes. You can flex at your heels, or you can do something called flanking, which is in between, which you do, I don't mind, do what feels better for you. Take a breath in, and then exhale, roll the shoulders off the ground. Inhale here, and then exhale, twist towards the left. Good, inhale, lower your right leg down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, pull lower. Exhale, it up for two. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up three. Inhale, lower. Exhale up four, inhale lower, exhale up five, inhale come back to center. Exhale twist towards the right, inhale lower the left leg, exhale lift it up, inhale lower, exhale it up two, we're doing five, inhale, exhale three, inhale, 
Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lower the shoulders down, bend the knees. Just let the knees sway from side to side, or you can go in circles if you like as well. We're gonna do one more. It's gonna be slightly different than that. Good, inhale. Both feet reach up. You can flex, point, or point your toes. Inhale here. Exhale, we'll walk the ground. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the left leg down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. That's three. We're doing five. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Good. Inhale, up. Back to center when you're there. Exhale, twist to the right. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower the right leg. Inhale it up. Exhale, lower. 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 Good job. Inhale it up. Back to center. Lower down on the ground. Good. Move your knees around. Make little circles. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. I might have said the last one, but I totally lied if I did. This is for real, the last one. <laughs> Inhale, reach both feet up. Point the toes, point the toes, flex the heel, whatever you like. Take a breath in. Exhale, shoulders come up off the ground, look at your toes. Inhale here. Exhale, lower both legs. Lift them up, inhale. Exhale, lower both. Inhale them up. We're only doing five. Exhale, lower. Inhale them up. Exhale, lower. Inhale them up. Exhale, lower. Inhale them up. I lost count, so one more. Exhale, lower. Inhale them up. Exhale, lower down. Squeeze your knees. Good. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Hopefully, your core is feeling fired up. <laughs> so, to rock and roll up and down your spine, come up onto your sit bones. You can cross at the ankles and step back, or you can jump back to a high plank. Shift your weight forward. Lower down halfway or all the way if you need it. Upward facing dog or cobra. Or sorry, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Good. So we've done our core. We're going to move on to our decompressing sequence. So inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift when you're there. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, circle the hands up. Exhale, bring the palms either down to the center of your body, hands to your side, mountain pose. We're going to do sun salutation A, so your namaskar A. Inhale, reach up, get long through your arms. Stay long as you exhale, fold up and over your legs. Long still, inhale, spine lifts. I like to imagine I'm squeezing a forearm with my back to get that length and lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back to a high plank. Inhale, shift your way forward. Exhale, lower halfway, maybe all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra pod. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a big breath in. Take a big breath out. Another inhale. Then another exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, float your way to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. As long as you can, inhale, circle the hands up. We'll do one more. So your nose there, A. Exhale, fold up and over the legs. Long spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Walk, step. Float back to a high plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Maybe lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, Downward facing dog. Good. Take a big long breath in and a big long breath out. Think about how you can decompress this pose. So getting long through your legs, getting long through your arms, but long through your legs doesn't mean to lock the knees. Maybe there's a bend in your legs. Getting long through the spine, getting long through the breath. Good. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, or float your weight in the front of the mat. Inhale, half a lift as soon as you're there. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms up. 
Exhale, bring your palms together, hands to your side, mountain pose. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a breath in. And delicious breath out. Good. Another inhale into your belly. And another exhale, leading from the belly. Okay, so we got more decompressing that we'll do. Inhale, circle the hands up, nice long reach. Exhale, fold up and over the legs into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, get nice and long in your spine. Float your left leg up towards the sky. And then bend the right leg, left toes land as you exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up, high lunge. Good. Bring your hands to your hips. For a moment, you're going to self-adjust. So you're going to guide your outer left hip back. Sorry, your outer right hip back, outer left hip forward. You're going to tilt your pelvic floor forward slightly so that you can get long in your spine. So you're decompressing your spine as well. Bend the right leg, keeping the integrity of your spine and your pelvic floor. And then reach the left heel back so that the left leg is like super charged. If you need to, you can lower the knee down on the ground if this is too much. Inhale, both arms come up, but bring the shoulder blades down and together on your back. Take some big, long breaths in here. Good, palms facing forward. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale and reach up. Exhale over towards the right. Good, spiral your bottom right rib cage up towards the sky. Spine your left shoulder open. Breathe. Decompress the left rib cage with your breath. So use the breath to create length. Use the breath to create opening. Use the breath to get grounded. Good. Inhale. Reach both arms up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands open, warrior two. So the heel of your right foot aligns with the arch of your left foot. Reach to the arms, let the shoulder blades come together so they come away from your ears. Get soft in the hands, gaze is forward. Take a few breaths here. as you guide the right fingertips down on your shin. Or if you have your block or whatever you're using as a block, whoops, <laughs> you can also grab that. Come up onto your fingertips no matter what option you're doing. Bend the right knee slightly, so it doesn't need to be a deep bend, but avoid the locking by just bring a little micro bend. And then roll the left shoulder open, gaze can come up, and then reach through the left fingertips. So you're pushing down through the right hand, to lift up through the left hand so you're getting as long as you can from finger to finger, middle finger to middle finger. Push out to the left pinky side, left pinky toe. <laughs> Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Good. A few more here. Good. Left hand to left hip. Look down and forward. Bend the right knee. And then bring your block about 10 to 12 inches out in front and float the left leg up. Good. You can keep your um, block where it is, but aim for it to have a mid chest. From here, a little bend in the right leg, flex the left foot. Option to stay here. Option to stack the left hip on top of the right. Lift the left leg up higher, no matter what option you're doing. Stay here or and stack the left shoulder on top of the right. We need a half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Feel free to look up towards the sky. We're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower the left fingertips down to the ground. So you have the option you can use blocks if you feel like the ground's really far away or fingertips down on the ground. It's totally up to you. I'm going to demo with blocks. 
one of my teachers says that <laughs> props are an act of compassion, and I agree. So outer left hip pointed down. The hips are square now. So you're closing the outer left hip down. Inhale, get long through the spine, lift up through the left leg. And then exhale, you're gonna come into standing splits, so your forehead's gonna come down towards your right shin. Lift the left leg up a little bit higher. Take a few breaths here. Good, inhale and lift. Exhale, bend the right leg. Step the left foot back at the back of the mat. Release your blocks. Inhale, come back up to high lunge. Exhale, hands down either side of the right foot. You're gonna step the left foot all the way forward to meet the right at the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Let the left leg float up this time. Bend, sorry, let the right leg float up. I'm sorry, guys. I taught a yoga class earlier and I find my language is just bleh, but that's no excuse, I'm sorry. Inhale, right heel floats. <laughs> Exhale, bend the left knee, come onto the ball of the right foot. Inhale, reach both arms up, and then hands on your hip. Good, use your hands to guide the outer left hip back, the right hip forward. Tilt the pelvic floor forward slightly so that you get a little more space and length and decompressing going on in the lumbar spine. From here, Maybe you bend the left leg more, maybe you stay where you're at. And then reach the right heel back. Get supercharged in the right leg. If you need to, right leg can come down on the ground. And then inhale, reach both arms up. And breathe. And take one more breath in. Now breath out like this. Flip the palms to face the front of your mat. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, reach over towards the left. Spiral the left rib cage up towards the sky. Open the right shoulder up. And then use your breath again to decompress, to create space, to get grounded in your body. Good, inhale, come back out of it. Exhale, open up into warrior two, so right foot parallel with the back of the mat, heel to arch alignment. Settle in, feel the weight in both feet evenly distributed. Get long through the arms, let the shoulder blades come down towards one another. Gaze over the left hand, or neutral if that feels better for your neck. Big, long, inflating rounds of breath in and out. Inhale, straighten the left leg. The outer right hip can guide forward or you can keep it where it is. And then exhale, fingertips come down on the ground, on the shin or your block. Come up onto your fingertips though. Little micro bend in the left knee. Roll the right hip open, right shoulder open. Stay here or reach the right arm up. Push down through the left fingertips to create this like pushing down to lift up action. Let the right fingers can reach up. And then big, full rounds of breath in and out. And take a breath in. Exhale, right hand to right hip. Bend the left knee. Guide the left hand out in front and then float the right leg up. Left hand comes underneath your chest. Option to stay here, flex your right foot no matter what option you're doing though and lift your right leg up higher. Stay here or stack the right hip on top of the left. Start to open, stay here or reach the right arm up towards the sky, half moon. Whatever variation you're in, lift up the right leg higher, flex the right foot, get length from finger to finger if you have the arm lifted and breathe. Good, one more breath in here. And then exhale, right hand comes down to the block or the ground. Come up onto your fingertips for here as well. And then guide the outer right hip down, 
Flex the right foot like you had the right foot pushed up against the wall. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, stand in splits. You can walk your hands or your blocks a little bit closer to your left foot. The outer right hip still pointing down and then the right leg starts to lift up. So we're pretty even in the hips here. We're not worried about how high we can reach the right leg. We're worried about squared hips and activation in both legs. Take a couple of breaths. And inhale to lift out of your standing splits. Walk the blocks forward. Guide the right toes down. Exhale. Inhale, reach both hands up. And then exhale, fingertips down on the ground. Step the right foot forward to the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Bend deeply into the knees. Inhale to roll and ragdoll your weight out. Forward fold. Um, slip the forward, close the eyes. Enjoy the breath in here. Enjoy the breath out. Enjoy the stillness. But enjoy everything that's moving in your body all at the same time. Beautiful. Inhale, bend the knees. Sorry. Bring the big toes to touch. The heels slightly apart are touching, whatever feels good for you. And then inhale, bend the knees. Reach your hands up, chair pose, but a tabletop chair. So have your belly still resting on your thighs. Even sit deeper if you can into the thighs. Arms can reach in forward. If that's really intense, you're gonna cactus the arms out. Good, and we're gonna take five huge belly breaths here together. So wherever you are, fully exhale. Inhale. Exhale for one. Belly breath in. Exhale two. Belly breath in. Exhale three. Belly breath in. Exhale four. Belly breath in. Exhale five. Good. Inhale. Stand up. Both arms reach up. Exhale, bring your left elbow underneath the right elbow. And then your hands are gonna come to rest on your shoulders, the back of the hands together, or palms together. Good, from here, bend both knees. And lift the right thigh up and place it on top of the left. So your eagle legs might look like that today. You might just be stacking the thighs. You might be able to hook the foot around. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get the elbows to hook around the knees. If they don't reach, you're just gonna try your best. The right foot out's nice because it kind of can work as a kickstand. So we want the belly pushing up against the legs again. Good, so we'll take five breaths, five belly breaths again. So exhale fully. Inhale, belly. Exhale one. Belly breath in. Exhale two. Belly breath in. Exhale three. Belly breath in. Exhale four. Belly breath in. Exhale five. Good. And then inhale. Start to come on up with the body. Release the leg. Release the hands. Good. Palms facing forward. Close your eyes. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Where can you feel the life, the prana, the fire burning in your body right now? For me, it's my belly. By taking those belly breaths in and out and having the belly pushed up against the leg, I can really feel whatever's going on. Good, inhale, circle the hands up. Exhale, left elbow, sorry, right elbow underneath left this time. Palms together on the shoulders, back of the hands together. Shift your weight to the right leg, bend the knee, stack the left thigh on top of the right. Good. Option to stay here is a little kickstand. I like the kickstand because I'm more worried about my belly massaging against my legs right now than anything else. Take a breath in. And then exhale, fold over the legs. Okay, so we're going to do those five belly breaths again. Forceful exhale, belly breath in. Exhale, one. Belly breath in. Exhale, two. Belly breath in. Exhale, three. 
and belly breath in. Exhale, four. And belly breath in. Exhale, five. And then now lift the body up. Release the hands, release the leg, palms, and down to your side, face them forward, close the eyes. If it feels good, or just a soft gaze, take a couple of free breaths. you see where on your, you are on your mat? I'm just going to turn to face you so you can see me. So bring your feet parallel, um, just a little bit more than hip distance. And then bend the knees, and you're going to reach the arms forward. You're coming into that tabletop. Again, cactus arms is the option as well. And you're going to take five belly breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Squeeze the legs into the midline. Inhale. Exhale, four. So this is massaging the outer belly. Inhale. Exhale, five. Good, beautiful. Then sink down into Malasana. If you can do it with your heels down, have your heels down. If you're like me, though, and my feet are parallel and closer, I, um, I can't lower my heels. It's okay to be up on the heels. You can place a blanket or something underneath the heels to support you. And then elbows, you're gonna reach up and around your knees as much as you can, try and get the knees into the armpits. And then you're gonna pull the elbows in and reach the chest forward. Okay. Close the eyes or soft gaze and do five belly breaths here. Inhale fully. Exhale. Good, inflating belly breath in. Inhale for two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five. Good. When you bring your feet down on the ground, straighten the legs, come into a forward fold. Maybe your legs are a little bit wider than you normally have it, and that's okay. Good, then if it feels good, wrap your arms around your shins and bend your knees a little bit so that you do have the belly up against the thighs. And then we'll take five more belly breaths here and then we're gonna get into some twisting. So close the eyes. Really, I would love for you to tune into the breath. The breath, as you hopefully can feel by now, is what's gonna help get things moving. So belly breath in. Belly breath out. Four more, inhale. Then exhale. Inflate up your balloon as much as you can, inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one. Good. release the legs if you have them. Slowly start to ragdoll your way up. One little vertebra. And time. Close your eyes. Enjoy. Just bathe in the sensations in your body. Just switch me you know, my mat so that when I'm twisting to the right, I'm still talking to you guys. So if you don't have your blocks ready, have them ready. Heel to the feet together, big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Palms come in. Close the eyes for a moment. Really tap into your breath. Promise yourself you're just gonna connect with it as much as you can for this next little twisting bit, because you know that that breath is what's gonna help get things moving. On top of twisting. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, sit back into your chair pose. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, twist to the right, and then hook the elbow outside the thigh. Good, look down at your knees, make sure your knees are aligned, palms pushing in towards one another, and you can bring the gaze over the head if it feels good, and we're gonna take five belly breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Remember specifically in the belly, inhale. Exhale, two. 
down on the ground, shift your weight into your right foot, left foot to glute, and then step back to a twisted high lunge. If you need to, you can bring the knee down for twisted low lunge. We want the belly up against the thigh, so it doesn't matter if it's high or low. Push the palms in towards one another. Five belly breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Place it in your left hand. Place it just in front of your right foot and float the left leg up. Good. Bring your left hand to your sacrum. Lift, sorry, bring your right hand to your sacrum. Lift your left leg up. Push down into your sacrum. Just start to roll the right shoulder open. Stay here or maybe the right arm reaches up. Twisted half moon. Five breaths here. Inhale into the belly. And exhale out. Inhale. hips down to the ground. Bend your right knee and the left knee is going to come to the outside of your right foot and come down to your left shin and have a seat. So if you find it hard to have your sit bones evenly on the ground, you can straighten the left leg out in front of you. So we're going to come into a seated twist. Left fingertips are going to reach up, right fingertips reach behind you. Inhale here. Big open chest and then exhale the left elbow outside right thigh. Good, push into the leg. So lift up and roll the right shoulder open. Gaze and go over the right shoulder. Good, so we're gonna take five belly breaths here. So if you need to, you can also hold the knee in. Big inhale. Exhale one. Big inhale. Exhale two. Big inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five. Good. Bring your fingertips back around. Come up onto your left shin. So you're gonna lift up, you point the left toes, and then step the left leg back. And then come into high line for a moment. Inhale. And then exhale. Left elbow outside, right thigh. Take a breath in here and take a breath out to step the left foot forward. Twisted chair again. Five more breaths here. Inhale fully. Exhale fully. Biggest belly breath so far. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale, five, release over the legs. <clears throat> Bring the feet hip distance apart. Make peace lines with your fingers and loop those peace signs onto your big toes. Inhale, lift, keep the bind. Exhale, wing the elbows out and fold forward. Five breaths here. Good. Keep the bind. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Heel toe the feet together if that feels good. Inhale, sit up into your chair pose. Hands in Anjali Mudra. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow <clears throat> outside a thigh. Push the palms in towards one another. Reach the cattle head forward. Look at the knees. Make sure the knees are still square. And we'll do five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Belly breath in. 
go to. Belly breath in. Exhale three. Belly breath in. Exhale four. Belly breath in. Exhale five. Point down at your left big toe. Bring your right heel into your right glute. Step it all the way back into either high lunge or low lunge, whatever you did on the first side. Five breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Big belly breath in. Big belly breath out. Another belly breath in. Another out. I think that's three. Let's do two more just to be safe. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. One more exhale. I'm gonna fingertips down on the ground. You're gonna step the right leg up, grab the block with your right hand, left hand on left hip, flex the right foot. Good, start to roll the left shoulder open. You can stay here with your hand on your hip. This is a great place to be. You can maybe lift the left arm up. We're gonna stay for five, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Lift the right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Bring your gaze down on the ground. Fingertips down on the ground. Bring your right knee on the outside of your left foot. Shin comes down on the ground. Have a seat on your glutes. <laughs> you need to straighten the right leg. Left fingertips behind you. Inhale, open your heart. And then exhale, hook the elbow around. And either hug the leg in or keep the elbow. Whatever one brings the leg closer in towards the belly. Knees over the left shoulder. Five belly breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Come up on your right shin and see if you can step the right leg all the way back. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms come together. Center the chest, twist the left right elbow up side to thigh. Good. Take your breath in. Look at the left big toe. Take your breath out to step the right foot all the way forward to meet the left. Palms pushing towards one another. Open the chest. Sit nice and deep. Good. Five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale one. Last little bit of effort. You can do it. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale five. Inhale. Exhale, fold over the legs. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Bring your feet hip distance apart. You can do Padangustasana again, which are the peace signs on the big toes. You can do Padahastasana, where you lift up one foot and you flip your hand and put it underneath. And then the same with the other foot. Whatever one you do, inhale, lift out of your bind, but keep the bind. And then exhale, wing the elbows out and fold forward. Five breaths here. This is an active forward fold, so you're pulling on the feet or pushing down with the feet all at the same time. Good. Keep your bind, inhale and lift. Release one hand at a time. Exhale, plant your palms and step back into a downward facing dog. Good, then lower the knees down. Come into a child's pose again. If you can do child's pose with the knees together, then do it with the knees together. Wrap your arms around your legs if that feels good. And we're gonna take five belly breaths here. Inhale, right into your belly. And exhale, out for one. Inhale. Exhale out for two. Inhale. Exhale out for three. Inhale. 
Exhale, open four. Inhale. Exhale it out for five. And then slowly roll your way up. Good. So we're going to actually move into Shavasana right away. We know we just did some work and we're trying to get things to pass. So I want you to lie right down. Let go of all physical effort in your body. And we'll do a little pranayama to lead us into our Shavasana. So we're going to do three-part breath. So your inhale is going to be broken up into three parts and your exhale is going to be done as one. So inhale one-third of your breath into your belly, pause. Second third of your breath into your chest and pause. Then sip in as much breath as you can. Pause. And gently exhale out. Good. Again, inhale a third part. First third into your belly. Pause. Second third into your chest and pause. Sip in as much breath as you can. And slowly let it go. Good. And do at least two more at your own pace. You need more, do more, and then eventually creeping your way into Shavasana. Day. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste, guys. 